We're here at the Embedded World 2018, and uh, who are you? I'm Alex Stopplinger. I'm the NXP Global Segment Lead for the Industrial Segment for iDynamics Applications Processors. So the iDynamix 8 was announced um, like a year or a little bit more ago, and there's uh, like different versions of it, right? Yes, that's exactly right. And uh, so we've been announcing different parts of the iDynamix 8 for about a year. This uh, At this event, we have launched the iDynamix 8M. So it's the first one of the iDynamix 8 series. It's actually launched and in production, placing orders now. So in the family, we have the three different, uh, in the series, we have the three different families. There's the 8 family, which is the largest one. It's really geared towards graphics and high performance applications, things like vision applications, automotive applications. We also have the iDynamix 8X, the one on the bottom there, which is about a 70% hardware reuse between the 8X and the 8 um, for similar applications. So you get a scaled down version. And then the 8M, the one in the middle, is the one which we have actually launched now, and it's shipping now. And that one is geared very much towards multimedia applications and um, uh, also some industrial and control and, and computing applications. So uh, just, just, to, just to, to check it out quickly, there's, there's actually uh, at this show a bunch of boards being shown with the, with the M. Yeah. Uh, 8M, so so that means it's really shipping, like it's like um, yeah, exactly. available. Yes, available. These are our partners. So about a year ago, we approached all of our very excellent uh, uh, EBS board partners, and we invited them. We showed them what we were thinking about for this part, and we invited them all to submit their proposals. And so based on the proposals, it was very hard to choose, but we did narrow it down to about eight of the different partners who would be early access, and we would launch their boards and their solutions the same day that we launched, which was at this event. And uh, right yeah. here, there's, uh, for example, an interesting looking bo bo box like here. Uh -huh. The IMX 8M a, yeah. with Q-Box, and uh, there's there's some IMX 8 and the X also, and uh, some, uh, a lot of stuff going on right here. And if I was looking over here, there was a IMX 8 QM too. That's the that's the Quad Max. The Quad Max. That's the Quad Max. That one has got uh, two Cortex A72s, four A53s two um, GPUs which are with vision extensions. So this guy's a big guy. It's also uh, going to have a DSP inside, multiple di uh, display controllers and uh, camera inputs. So it's a, it's a very yeah. nice processor. It's high-end on the line. There's another demo right here of this one. Yeah. Um, it's So it's high-end. It's yes. for maybe, let's say, self-driving cars or something like that? Well, so 8 Quad Max will most likely appear in the dash of a vehicle. And that would be driving the, both the driver's side, so all of the controls for the driver, the safe side, and running something like a, an RTOS. And on the other side of the processor, same chip, you'd be driving every one of the displays, radios, inputs, taking the cameras for the entire vehicle. So it's doing the infotainment and the safe side of the driver uh, support. And if I just jump over here, um, just to gonna check these out over here. There's, a, there's some other partners that are working on that you're working on to release. There was a Technexion, a Compulab, doing right here, like a, uh, this kind of board, and a Seco also. So they are like development boards, right? That's right. And what you're seeing here, we're at the end of the show. So some of the guys have already taken their yeah. boards home, unfortunately. Yeah. But these are boards that are fully functioning and have been launched at this event at the same time. And uh, if I get around here. Uh, right here, there's uh, uh, something going on right here. Is this on the M? Yes, this is on the Max 8M Quad. So this is the one that is in production right now. And uh, this demo is actually driving two displays from the 8M Quad. So this guy's playing a 4K video. It's with a full high definition or high dynamic range. And at the same time, it's driving these lovely graphics, which were created by our graphics partner, Crank Software. And we also have, I don't know, hiding in the back, there's a <laughs> microphone there, which is with our partner, Snips. And Snips has developed a local voice recognition. So not to the cloud. It's absolutely recognizing key phrases and, and uh, instructions from the voice. And uh, here at this show, you also launched a new IDMX M, like a family for it, and a new chip for that, right? Uh, yes, we did announce. Now let me go find that one for you. Hang on. So that There's the family this? right here. Yeah. Oops. What so I done? we see the X and the eight, and uh, yeah. all the the A72s is here. Here's just 35. 
Yeah. And here's a, a 53s, a bunch yeah. of 53s here. So just to keep an eye, so it's two A72s, four A53s, two M4s, two GPUs with vision extensions and a DSP. And so these are some of the ones you saw in the case. As well, here we have up to four A35s, an M4, the same GPU, um, basic GPU as in all of these and a DSP, so that's added to Max 8X family. This one is also safety certifiable. It has ECC protection on the DDR3L memory, which means it can be safety certified up to a SIL level three. And that's the first time we've done that in IMX. But that family's been announced, but not quite launched yet. It will launch, you know, we'll, we'll talk again. And on the 8M, so this is the one that you're looking at in this demo, 8M quad, it's got four A53s running up to 1.5 gigahertz, an M4, plus the same GPU that's here. And what this does is allows for a very lot of views. So if you want to start low and move up, or start high and move down, you can do that. Um, as well with the uh, the new device. Did you want to talk about that one next? The yeah. New announcement? So that's the new, there's a new announcement, uh, yeah. new in the M family. Yes. And uh, right here, some yeah. intro for that. Right. It's so called Mini. 8M Mini, except it really isn't that mini, to be honest. <laughs> so yeah. 8M Mini is the same Cortex-A53 cores as in the 8M that you're seeing on this demo. And it is the same Cortex-M4. It's the same graph. Oh, no, sorry. It's a smaller graphics processor. That's Mini. But the device itself is higher performance on the ARM cores than the already existing device. 14 nanometers. Yeah. So that's the The other key. one's 28. Yeah, the other one is a 28 HPC yeah. process. So that means a smaller chip, uh, maybe lower power consumption? Yeah, definitely lower power consumption. So yeah. uh, this LPC FinFET process is known to have a lot uh, more significant less leakage. And so that makes this part suitable for uh, battery operated handheld applications, for um, fanless applications in small enclosures. There's quite a lot of interest in this as a computing device as well as a, a multimedia device. We kept the same audio capabilities on this one exactly as what's on the one you see demoed. Yeah. And so this one will also be sampling this year. And um, there's some more information about the mini. Yeah, so just a little bit on the specs. So you can see there'll be a single dual and a quad core, A53s, up to two gigs. So this, this process allows us to go faster. The Cortex-M4 float will also be faster, up to 400. It's the same DDR memory interfaces, so LP DDR4, DDR4, and DDR3L at 32 by 32, or 16 if you want to. Yeah. Yep, and all the other kinds of interfaces. But we've also added new in here. We've added a video encoder. Uh, hardware, so it's a 1080p60 H.264 video encoding. Um, encoding. Encoding, right? So you could bring yeah. in the video encode. Yeah. And uh, um, so, that, because it's 14 nanometer, does that make it more expensive or? Ah, good question. <laughs> because it's so, mini, but the price might be a little bit higher. The mini is mini. Is mini. Is mini. Yeah. The whole goal was to bring down the power consumption, the cost, the size. The cost too. Yeah. Because it's smaller die, maybe. That's well, there's a lot of reasons. We did skin down the GPU, we did take out some pins, we put it in a smaller package, but uh, certainly the oh, FinFET oh, oh, process oh. is very helpful for this, yes. And uh, how soon is this uh, available? Uh, so this is, it will sample this year, and it should be production ready in this year, and you know, the launch to come. And what's the market for this one? So the markets for all these processors is a very wide range, to be honest. So uh, both of the parts here are qualified for both consumer and industrial use. They'll have a temperature range of minus 40 up to 105 for the industrial case. The industrial parts will be in our 10-year longevity program, meaning they will ship for at least 10 years after we launch. And um, they are supported by Linux and Android on the A cores and by FreeRTOS on the M cores. So with that and with all these capabilities, we have customers who are interested for things like over-the-top set-top boxes, a lot of very audio applications for the ADM and the ADM Mini, and there's maybe some more coming <laughs> who, who get even more efficient at the applications. But we're seeing a high interest in handheld applications for this. Think about things like scanners, um, radios, phones. So there's, there's a, a very wide range. All right, so it's going to be busy in the next few months. Yeah, busier. Busier and busier. <laughs> yes. it's always, it seems to be very busy right now with it. All the stuff that you're showing at this this show, the, all yeah. the 8Ms being launched, uh, yeah. and all the development boards that are going to be available. Yes, yes. And support uh, an open source. Yes. You and you provide a GPU. What is the name of your GPU? Uh, so the GPU comes from Verisilicon. It's a VX7000 Lite. 
and this GPU has four shaders. It has an OpenCL 1.2, which is great for computing, as well as for uh, some vision applications, and it has OpenGL ES uh, 2.0, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, which is great for driving the graphics processors. Um, yeah. And it's open source. The is driver, it, is, is, there an not, is there an open source driver well, for it? So the way that we support our GPUs, I mean, it is something we license from the, the vendor. And so to a point, I mean, we offer the um, everything you need to be able to light it up, right? There are certain things that we cannot give because that belongs to the vendor in question. But, but there's a chance that they open source that? I don't know. You'd have to know. ask That's them. what I heard. I heard that the Did MX8 you? was supporting some, uh, uh, in terms of compared to the Mali GPU, yes. that it would be more open source right here. I uh, can't really comment about that one. That's so, up to Verisity Company. But that would be exciting if that happens. Yeah, yeah you should really ask them. All right. Okay.